Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having an amazing day today. I know I am. I'm going to be reviewing the new Huda Beauty Full Filter Skin Finish Foundation. I have it right here and I actually already have it on my skin. If you guys are interested in finding out whether I like it, how it wears throughout the day, then just keep watching. So here I have all the products. I was sent this in PR, but I wasn't asked to film a video or create any content with it. As always, all my opinions are mine and this is not sponsored whatsoever. So I was actually sent four foundations. These are the ones I was sent. I was sent custard, shortbread, two shortbreads, and chai. Um, I'm really happy they sent over a few for me to try. I have the um, custard in the original formula, but I feel like it is a little too dark for me. So I'm happy that they sent over chai and shortbread to see if those are actually my true match. In the PR package, this also arrived. This is the Water Jelly Hydrating Primer. I love the packaging. I love that it's all clear. I'm really excited to try this out too. And they also sent over a brush. This is the Face Build and Buff Foundation Brush. So let's talk about prices. The foundation stick is $39. The foundation brush is $33. The Hydrating Perfecting Primer is $33. Um, everything is currently available on Sephora Online. And I'm not sure if it's available in store yet but I'll let you guys know somewhere around here if it is. I am filming this on October 21st and I'll try and have this for you guys as quickly as possible. I have some redness right here in my cheek and the foundation is covering it up pretty good. There are 39 shades. They added nine new shades. It says it's a creamy new formula that melts onto the skin. It has buildable coverage. So I'm gonna start by swatching them on my skin to see which one matches me best. This one is in the shade Custard. Next we have Shortbread. And this is Chai. I think I'm going to go with chai. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but custard is just a little too orange. And although shortbread might look like it's kind of my color, I feel like it's going to make me look way too pale. So I'm going to go with chai. I'm going to start by priming my skin with the water jelly. I'm just going to pour a little bit on my hand. It's pretty liquidy. I guess. So, so far so good. What I like about it is that it just kind of melted into my skin and it feels really hydrating. It kind of feels sticky on my skin, kind of how when I apply the Hydro Grip Primer, I kind of like when primers do that because I feel like the foundation sticks to it more and it wears like better. So I'm going to be using the color Chai. And I'm just going to do a few lines across my face. And if I want a little more coverage, I'll just add a little bit more. So I'm going to do half my face with this brush and the other half with my makeup sponge. Now I'm going to start blending it out. I have some redness right here in my cheek. And the foundation is covering it up pretty good. It's looking really nice. Kind of just melts into your skin. Okay, now with my sponge from Deborah Cosmetics, I'm just gonna blend out this side using the butt. Usually stick foundations are pretty hard to blend out with a beauty sponge, but this one is not making me work too hard. So far, so good. I really like that it has a glow to it. My skin literally looks like skin it just covered up some blemishes i really really like it i want to see how it wears now now i'm going to do my concealer and powder on camera i want to see how the foundation looks when you add a little bit of concealer 
So like I am going for like a really natural look. I'm not gonna put concealer anywhere else except under my eyes. And again, I'm just gonna use my sponge. And let's just see. Okay, the concealer looks flawless on top of the foundation. I like it, it looks really good. I'm gonna set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm gonna apply a little bit to my forehead as well. I leave on the powder for like about 15 seconds. I don't really bake for a long time. I've had this on for like about 15 seconds. I'm just gonna brush it all off my face. Brush it all off my face. This is how my skin is looking. I love this foundation. I know I've only had it on for like 10 minutes, but I seriously like it so much. Um, we'll see how it wears. I have high hopes for it. I'm just gonna do my makeup off camera now. I'm just gonna add some bronzer and lashes. Nothing too crazy. I'm going for like a little simple look today. So I'll be right back when that's all done. I'm back and this is the makeup look I created. I went with something super simple, just a little bit of blush, bronzer, a little bit of gloss and lashes. Oh, and of course highlighter. I can't live without highlighter. But it is around 2 p.m. right now and I'm actually gonna run a few errands and then I'm gonna make lunch. I'm gonna keep myself busy and then at around 8 p.m. I'm gonna come back and show you guys how my skin is looking and I'm gonna talk about whether or not I like it or not. Um, so I'm gonna check back in in a few hours. I'll see you guys soon. I'm back. It's 10.22. I lost track of time. I was actually editing a YouTube video that's gonna be up before this one. So when you're watching this video, make sure you watch my other video that I'm gonna link right here. So as you guys can see, I am a bit oily in my cheeks, a little bit on my chin, a little bit on my forehead not too much that's pretty much normal to me because i do have oily skin this foundation has been on my skin for eight hours which is insane i'm like pretty shocked that it looks this good for the amount of time that i've had it on the foundation did not get patchy anywhere the only place where it kind of rubbed off a little bit was around my smile lines I did have lunch and dinner, so that's probably why. And again, like I said, I like talk a lot, so it's normal for them to like kind of like show up. But overall, I'm so impressed by this foundation. I highly recommend it. If you're a person that has dry skin, I highly recommend this. And if you're a person like me that has oily skin, I also recommend this. Like all you need to do is set it with some powder and probably throughout the day, you can use some translucent powder and just kind of patch up those areas where, where it gets a little bit oily. I didn't do this because I really wanted to see how it wore throughout the day without any touch-ups. All in all, if you guys are thinking about getting this foundation, I highly recommend for you guys to give it a try. I personally love it a lot. I know it's $39 and it is a little expensive, but before using this one, my go-to was the um, Hourglass Seamless Stick. And this one is... 50 times better than that one and that one is $46 so if you guys like the seamless stick from the hourglass you are going to love this one and it's cheaper so I really encourage you guys to give it a try if you want to the brush is $33 if you have the money and you want to splurge you can get it it's a really good quality brush like this is not plastic but you can honestly just use any foundation brush you have at home, like any kabuki brush or even a sponge. I used my sponge and it blended it out perfectly as well. I also really liked the water jelly primer. If you have um, a dry skin, you're gonna love this because it's very hydrating. If you do have oily skin, maybe you should try something a little more mattifying before you use the um, foundation. That's probably gonna help control oil. Like I used both, it probably contributed to the fact that I got a little bit oily around my T-zone, but it honestly didn't bother me whatsoever. I would love to try this combo again. It just felt really nice on my skin. So all in all, I highly recommend these two products. The brush, you don't really need, you know, if you wanna 
splurge you can but anything will work as well if you guys are gonna end up trying the foundation definitely let me know in the comments below let me know if this is something you want to see more often these types of reviews i definitely want to make more videos like this as always if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you're a new viewer make sure you hit the subscribe button and join our little family i love you guys so much and i'll catch you on the next one Bye!